Edwards, uh, read a statement from Leonard. Share these words from Leonard. Hope you can all hear me. He says, this is from Leonard Peltier. My Greetings, my relations, my friends, and to my many supporters the world over. It is that time again. Another year has passed, and on February 6th, I will be marking 36 years since my arrest. During all this time, my family and allies have discovered just how far the government will go to wrongfully convict and imprison someone they know is innocent. They do this as a message, first to Indians, and further to anyone who might stand up to injustice, as if to say, we will do as we please. From the day of my arrest until now, through you, my supporters, I have been honored with many activists and humanitarian awards. I thank you for keeping awareness of me and my case alive. Your commitment has really been a special experience for me. In addition, many celebrities, political figures, and organizations have called for my release, including 55 members of Congress. This last November, the National Congress of American Indians passed a permanent resolution calling for my release. Well, let's hope it's not that permanent. The NCAI has committed to being directly involved with my case so that the message from Washington to Indian people does not remain, we will do as we please. Still, despite all this attention and with all the leaders and people of conscious calling for my release, I have been kept in this iron cage. They have even kept me longer than their own laws say they can, with evidence corroborating that I did not receive a fair trial, with proof of government misconduct, with admissions by government officials that they do not know who killed those two agents that day at the Jumping Bull property, here I sit. We will do as we please. Recently, as many of you know, an act was passed and signed into law that allows for indefinite detention of American citizens without charge or trial. This is perhaps the final straw, the final nail in the coffin of American freedom, the end of habeas corpus and due process. We will do as we please. We Indians said it for generations. If they can kill us indiscriminately, they will do it to anyone. If they can take our land, they will do it to anyone. If they can kidnap our children and take them to prison schools, they will do it to anyone starve us and lie to us, they will do it to anyone. If they can wrongfully imprison us, they will do it to anyone. Now, sadly, this is another Indian, Indian prophecy fulfilled. We will do as we please. Our ancestors and tribal people all over the world prophesied at a time of upheaval and great change. I believe that time is fast approaching. I believe a part of this is the government's ongoing overreach of its authority. Until the people rise up and tell Washington, you will not do as you please. We are not your slaves. We will not be subjugated. We will not be ruled by an iron fist. We will not allow you to steal our liberty or our justice. My friends, my relatives, my supporters, be a part of this latest, perhaps the last, Indian uprising. Make your voice heard. Be part of the brave movement to come. The movement that will change the course of human history. Make change and hope and peace and justice a part of your personal legacy. Be the change that you envision and know in your heart must take place. Do this, and on the day you take your last breath and prepare to meet Creator, you will know your life on this earth was well spent. Close your eyes knowing you use your breath and energy to Creator's good purpose. Smile as you cross over knowing you change the world so that the next seven generations can know a good life. Do these things and know that I am with you. I will embrace you as my relation in this life or the next. Mitsukyo Oyusen, in the spirit of Crazy Horse, Leonard Peltier. To everybody that comes out, everybody that dedicated their lives to the struggle for the people. Because we have to work on the struggle. We're saying that a uh, hope and free Leonard Peltier.